Can you tell me why strengthening communities is important for your work? Strengthening communities for disabled people is really important because disabled people are going through the worst of all possible times just now. They're dealing with the impact of welfare reform, service reform, um, rising hostile attitudes and rising hate crime um, and media spin to justify cuts. So at a time when disabled people need more and more support, they actually have less support because of the cuts. So disabled people need um, to be strengthened individually and collectively at this time to survive, but also we would argue so that they can thrive, so that they can be in control of their own lives, so that they can participate in their communities with choices equal to others, and so that they can actually make a contribution to society. Thank you. What kind of support do you think that disabled people need to take part in their communities on an equal level? To take part um, in communities on an equal level with other citizens, disabled people do need additional support and there's no avoiding that. And the support that I'm thinking about might not cost a lot of money, but it does take planning and sometimes it does have resource implications as well. What I'm thinking about, and specifically what we've experienced to be very effective, is asking if people need support around things like transport, personal assistance, sign language interpretation, maybe um, note takers who can type in every word that's said for people who either have cognitive processing problems or hearing impairments. So there's a whole range of things that disabled people might need. As I say, it's not always the case that it's very expensive, but sometimes there are costs. Thank you. And if those things were done, if the support was in place, what would it look like? What would your vision be? Can I add something to the support thing? Please do. In addition to these basic uh, support things, these are the kind of first point of entry for disabled people. For them to participate, they may need some of the things I've just listed. But on top of that, disabled people, as with other disadvantaged communities, need sometimes the support from people like ourselves who are employed by disabled people and a disabled person myself um, to be able to help them think about what their main issues and priorities are and help them plan how they want to tackle barriers in their own lives and collectively how they want to tackle things that affect them as a community or as communities.